Hi everyone, welcome back to Flavor Fridays. My name is Emma and today I'll be making Taiwanese popcorn chicken, otherwise known as Yan Su Ji. If you want to get notified on all of our new videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. So this is an incredibly popular street food um, in Taiwan, particularly in the night markets. You'll see people walking along the streets with a little bag full of popcorn chicken, if not a giant massive cutlet of um, fried chicken. It's a very easy recipe and it is absolutely delicious. Uh, there are a few components to this recipe. There's the marinated chicken thighs that we deep fry twice to get it extra crispy. And there's also the seasoning that we add to it uh, for the marinade and also once all of the chicken is deep fried. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to marinate my chicken. To do that, I'm going to finely chop some garlic and ginger. Now that I've chopped my ginger and my garlic, I've set it aside and I'm going to talk about the chicken. So for the recipe today, I'm using chicken thigh with the skin on. Now you see a lot of recipes using um, skinless chicken thigh, but I actually really like it with the skin on because the skin deep fries as well, which gives it that extra layer of crispiness. So I've deboned my chicken thigh, leaving the skin on, trimming off any of the excess, and then I'm going to dice it up into big cubes. You don't want your chicken to be too small because you want it to stay really nice and juicy. So big chunks, something around this size or so, big generous chunks of chicken. So in the end, all your chicken pieces should look like this, nice big cubes. Now I'm going to marinate my popcorn chicken. The marinade is very easy, it's a very classic um, Chinese marinade. I'm going to add a bit of soy sauce. I'll add some Shaoxing wine. I'll add a small pinch of sugar. I'll add some white pepper, and I'll also add some Chinese five spice. I'll add the garlic and the ginger that I chopped up early as well. And then I'll just give everything a really nice mix. Once you've marinated your chicken, you want to set it aside for at least half an hour for all of the chicken to absorb the flavor. Um, you can even do it a day ahead of time and the chicken would have even more flavor. The other important ingredient in Taiwanese popcorn chicken is the fried basil. Now often you would find Thai basil um, that they deep fry in the very end of deep frying the chicken so you get a beautiful, bright and crispy crunch um, with your chicken. However, sometimes Thai basil is hard to find, so today we'll just be using um, normal basil. Now with the basil, you want to make sure it's really dry. Otherwise, when you add a very wet ingredient into hot oil, it tends to splatter all over your face. Um, so with my basil, I'm just going to tear it off of the stalk. You want quite a generous amount of basil because it does shrink once it is deep fried. And then you can just set that aside. At this point, now that I have marinated my chicken, I've torn up my basil, I'm going to turn my wok on and slowly start bringing the vegetable oil up to a heat. Now I'm using a round bottom wok because it heats up the oil very quickly. It keeps a pretty even distribution of heat um, and it's super easy to lift the ingredients up after it is deep fried. So while the oil is heating up, I'm going to grind some spices as well, which I'll season um, the chicken with at the very end. Uh, for this, I've got some Sichuan peppercorns. You just want a small handful, you don't need much. I've got some black peppercorns. That'll give it a really nice kick in the very end. And I'll also 
add some salt to it to give it a nice salty kick on the outside. So Taiwanese popcorn chicken, in Chinese it's yan su ji, and yan su ji just means salty fried chicken. Um, so you do want quite a bit of salt on the outside of your popcorn chicken. So in the end, you should have something that looks like this, nice finely ground black peppercorns and citron peppercorns and some salt as well. So what I'm using today to deep fry my chicken pieces is cornstarch. Now cornstarch is readily available in all supermarkets. In Taiwan, they would traditionally use sweet potato starch or sometimes even tapioca starch, which are a bit more difficult to come by. Um, cornstarch will still give you that delicious crispy outside. And what we're going to do is we're going to double fry our chicken pieces. So imagine deep frying what you've just deep fried. You're getting extra layers of crispiness. Um, to do that, we're just going to lift the chicken pieces from the marinade and drop them into the corn flour. Don't pour them all at once. You want to individually coat every piece. Now I'm just turning the chicken pieces in the corn flour so that they're nice and evenly coated. So a little trick that I like to do to make sure my oil is the right temperature or it's hot enough is to stick a skewer or a wooden chopstick or a wooden utensil into the oil. And when it starts to sizzle and bubble up around the sides, that's when I know my oil is hot enough. So I've got a wire rack right next to my wok, which is where I'm going to strain and drain the chicken pieces after it's deep fried the first time. I'm going to slowly lower my chicken pieces into the oil, um, lowering them very slowly just so that I don't get any splatter. So I lift up the chicken piece from the cornstarch, I slightly shake off the excess, and then I'm going to drop it in to my oil. And it should immediately start to fizzle around the sides. Do not add too many chicken pieces into the oil at once because that drops the temperature of the oil so your chicken pieces won't be as crispy. So I only maybe do five to six pieces at once and then I do the next batch. I'll use my spider next to separate the pieces, make sure they're all not in a tight clump in the oil. Um, the spider's really handy to deep fry because I can lift everything from the wok all at once. Um, and you can get both our spider and our wok on our School of Wok website. So for the first fry of the chicken pieces, you're looking for a light brown on the outside. The first fry is really to cook our chicken pieces. And the second double fry is to get that extra crunchy layer on the outside. So this is what you're looking for with your first fry. A nice light golden brown on the outside, but not a deep brown yet. At this point, it's been deep frying for maybe around four minutes and I'm going to strain it and then do the next batch. So now that I finished the first fry of the chicken, I'm going to pop it back in for its second double fry. Now the second double fry only takes a minute or two, um, and it's just to get that beautiful golden brown color on the outside. So for this, I'll turn up the heat on my oil just slightly so that I get a quicker fry without drying out the meat inside. I'm popping a few pieces of chicken back onto my spider and then lowering it into the oil. You want your double fried chicken to look something like this, beautiful, crispy, and golden brown. And then continue doing this with the rest of the chicken till you double fried all of the chicken pieces. So now for the last thing that I'm going to deep fry, I'm going to deep fry those chicken skin pieces that I left earlier. This is optional, you don't have to do this, but if you're a bit extra like I am, then you should do it. Um, again, very dry chicken skin and just lower it into the wok. This has not been dipped in cornstarch or anything, it's just the chicken skin. If your chicken skin is splattering and popping, that's normal, just step away from the wok and let it do its thing. 
once the chicken skin is nice and golden brown, that's when you know it's ready. Now the last thing I'm going to deep fry is my basil. Now basil has a lot of water, so be careful, it will splatter. When you do this, just make sure you step away from the wok. So I'm going to put my basil pieces into my spider and it only takes maybe 30 seconds um, up to a minute. So you don't need to let it cook away in the oil. You want it to stay nice and crispy. So I'm going to lower into my oil and then quickly step away. So I drained the basil from the oil and now that my chicken pieces are still really nice and hot, you want to immediately season it so that it absorbs all of the salt. So with the spice mixture that I made earlier, I'm going to sprinkle it all over the chicken pieces. Be generous. Again, it's yan su ji, so it's supposed to be a bit salty. Now on the streets of Taiwan, they always serve it in a takeaway container with a few skewers to eat. So I've got a little cone here, which is how I had it um, on the streets of Taiwan in the night markets. And I'm going to just plate up or cone up, cone up. I'm going to cone up. Get a few of the basil pieces in there. And then in the very end, I'm gonna top it off with that crispy chicken skin. And it'll be a perfect surprise in the middle of all of your popcorn chicken pieces. So there you have it. A nice and beautiful, delicious Taiwanese popcorn chicken. I'm gonna give it a taste. Probably going to burn the roof of my mouth. It's so crispy and so salty, a delicious salty on the outside. And the skin, it's so thin. Like the crispiness, it doesn't weigh you down. I could just really keep going. Oh my goodness. Something I want to know is, how do you like to have your deep fried chicken? Is it really spicy and hot or is it in a smaller form, in a cone maybe, like my Taiwanese popcorn chicken here? Uh, leave your answer in the comments below and if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time on Flavor Fridays.